Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Shep and Read. Today, I'll be doing my March ARC reading vlog. So once again, I have my laptop over here and I'm just going to go through the books I plan to read. I already narrowed it down, so there's only the books that I have potential to read. Um, there's a lot of them that I got from Night Galley that were sequels and I haven't read the first one so I was like there's just very low chance of me reading them so I'm not even going to go through them to be honest and I actually don't have any physical books this time which is very rare I usually have at least a couple to get through but this time I have zero physical books and they're all ebooks which honestly is kind of a relief to be honest just because I've been doing better with ebooks recently just because the physical ones are usually the longer ones so they're taking me a little bit more time to get through um, but ebooks for whatever reason I just have more time to just sneak a few pages in here and there on my phone on my kindle so it has been going pretty good so far um but anyways just go through the six books i hope to read from my laptop um so i have first one over here down comes a night by allison saft this one is a fantasy um it says over here that it is a romantic fantasy and that's kind of all i know about it but it's supposed to be like a classic so i'm not sure maybe it's like a retelling or something like that but We'll see. I really don't know. Um, but the next potential book on here is The Stolen Kingdom by Jillian Bomey. First of all, this cover is stunning. I am a huge fan of the cover here. And this is a YA fantasy adventure. And it's supposed to be about like secret bloodlines, royal family, crown, etc. So it sounds like a really good time. <laughs> Um, the next one over here is Tell Me My Name by Amy Reed. So this is a psychological thriller novel, um, so it's very different than the other two so far. And it's supposed to be about the cost of being a girl in the world that takes so much and the enormity of what is regained when we take it back. So I feel like it's kind of a, um, okay, so this over here is a gender-flipped YA Great Gatsby. So that's kind of cool. Um, so I guess it's kind of a retelling of Great Gatsby as well as a psychological thriller which sounds very fascinating to me. Then the next book over here is Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Boley. This one is a YA thriller about a native teen who must root out the corruption in her community. Then next one over here which oh, this is a book I actually started a book already because I was like that's how good I am right now with my February reading. So I'm actually halfway through right now with Our Last Voices by Kate Alice Marshall. This book is so good. It's by the same author of the rules of vanishing and i absolutely adore that book it's spooky it's like creepy it's perfect for like october vibes but this book is actually coming out in march and this book is honestly so good it basically follows this girl who is trying to figure out what happened to her and her mother many years ago um she always thought that they were living like montana they grew up there her mom died there etc but then she finds out that actually her mom had died in this on this island and she was actually she's now actually a legend um she's like the girl on the boat and because she was found alone abandoned on a boat in the middle of the ocean um like from near an island and she was found by this random dude and so the book just kind of follows her trying to figure out what really happened and she goes off to to this island to see like what exactly is the truth behind her mother's like history her disappearance all that stuff and it is creepy um it is really really good it's like all the you know it sends all the shivers and it is really good for October but right now I'm reading it for February and I am not mad about that it is really freaking good it's very atmospheric and I feel like her books are just so well written and it gives you just so many like goosebumps feelings and all that stuff and it's just a really good book so far so so far I'm really enjoying it and the last book that I potentially might read is The Secret Recipe for Moving On by Karen Fisher so it says over here when Ellie is dumped by her boyfriend she's forced to make new friends and it's a, a smart and funny YA debut. So those are the six books that I potentially might read. Well, one of them I'm already halfway through, so I'll definitely read that. Um, I'm aiming for two, potentially three. I haven't really decided which of my other picks I'll be picking, but there's a good chance I'll be picking the contemporary just because I want something that's like light and fluffy. And then for the third book, who knows? Um, or if there even will be a third book. I feel like, honestly, like these arcs, the reading vlogs are kind of like up in the air depending on my mood and how well I can read and all my other reading responsibilities in a way. So anyways, that's all I'd say for this March arc reading vlog intro. Very quick, very brief. 
um, but I'm excited for the books I hope to read for this month. Okay, so I just wanted to check in very quickly in terms of my update for this March ARC reading vlog. Honestly, I've been doing so bad with updating you guys. Um, I did manage to finish reading The Last Echoes, which I ended up giving three and a half stars. It was just okay. I feel like between that book and The Rules of Vanishing, The Rules of Vanishing is just so much more atmosphere. Like this book was too, like I, the books are really strong. I was super invested with it. I wanted to know what was happening, but I feel like as the book continued, it kind of started to teeter off a little bit. It just got like, I didn't want to say it got dull, but it wasn't as engaging or as riveting as it was initially. Like in the beginning, like the first half of this book was so intense. I was like, what is going on? here the whole like mist thing and like the whole reflection thing like that caught me off guard and i was like so here for it um and then as it continues i don't know i just felt like it was i don't know i just didn't like continue that momentum um what i did find super interesting was that there was a little bit of an easter egg with this book for rules for vanishing so if you had read her previous book you will know when that happens in this book i was like wait hold up a second like that's super interesting so now i feel like even though these books are standalones they're not really standalones there definitely is some sort of like connection between all of them they're set in the same universe essentially so that's super interesting and i'm pretty sure the ending the way how it ended there's definitely going to be a third book and it's definitely going to be set in the same like world in a way um and I'm super intrigued by that because I do really want to know what would happen and kind of like some of the characters. And even though this book had like none of the same characters in Rules of Vanishing, I feel like, at least not that I'm aware of, I'm pretty sure the third book will have some sort of characters, like same characters that I'm super hyped up for. So I'm really, really looking forward to the third book. Um, but yeah, overall I did get this book three and a half stars. I just felt like it was meh, like towards the end especially. But the ending definitely got me super excited for the third book because I feel like that would be freaking amazing. But that's what to say for this book. And then I also started reading the other ebook, which is The Secret Recipe of Moving On. So in the beginning when I first started reading it, I actually felt super annoyed with the main character. She got so, so annoyed. Like everything she did, everything she said, I was like, oh my god, you are so desperate. Something about her character just rubbed me the wrong way, like really bad. Like all her reactions, um, the way how she talked, the way how she interacted with the other characters, I was like something about her I just did not like at all. And so she just aggravated me to no end. And for the first, I don't know, I won't say like 10% of the book, I was just like not having it. And it got to the point that I was like, I really wanted to DNF the book because I was just like, I didn't like the main character, didn't really care about her like romance. So this whole book follows a romance situation. So, oh, so before I forget, this book basically follows a girl. She's been dating this guy called Hunter for the past like eight months. She started a new school and she basically wasted this entire eight months just dating him and not really interacting with anyone else. Like all her friends were Hunter's friends. And so she had no other like people that she was close to and the thing is like after eight months she hasn't had sex with hunter and i guess because of you know stigma and everything um he i guess like just got bored of her i'm not really sure but up, basically what happens is that he breaks up with her even though that day she was telling him like oh i'm ready to have sex with you now but by that point like he had already moved on he just got bored of her and so he ends up dating this other girl like immediately and they were kind of like cheating on her for a little bit too because there was like an overlap and so now she is struggling with school because she has no friends except for hunter's friend and obviously they chose him over her because they were his friends first and so the book continues and she's just struggling with you know trying to reacclimate herself in this environment in this new school of hers where she has no friends and the fact that everyone kind of knows her as a cold fish as of right now due to like something else and so she ends up at this home ec class uh where everyone's learning to kind of like be a family so they all have different groups and the whole purpose of the class is to learn to be a family so they're learning about budgeting they're learning about you know having like kids or like their salaries so originally she was in hunter's group but obviously things happen and she ends up switching groups to you know like the misfits and so as it continues she starts to get really close to them and obviously there's a guy involved and it's actually becoming super super cute but the ironic thing was the fact that because i was so aggravated with the main character from the beginning i thought about dnfing the book and while i was thinking about which book i could pick up next the book finally started to like 
get kind of cute for me and I started to become actually interested in the story and so I continued. But anyways, that's all to say for this book. So far, I do really like this book though. It's super freaking cute and I think this will be the last book I read for this vlog. So far, I do think that this is one of my more boring vlogs. I'm so sorry, but if you do like it, please do give me a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. Um, but yeah, I'm going to continue reading and then I'm going to update you guys and see you guys later. All right, so I am basically here to just end the vlog and give you guys an update on my reading. So I did manage to finish the last book that I'm reading for this vlog and that is The Secret Recipe of Moving On. This book ended up giving four stars. I don't remember exactly what I said about this book in my previous update but I thought the ending was or like the second half of the book was super adorable and I was so here for the romance. Uh, the beginning was a little bit slow to get into. I felt that the main character was a little bit annoying but I feel like she also realized that she was kind of annoying because she apologized for it. So I guess you know that means something there but this book ended up being incredibly adorable i really like reading about the characters and just the romance in general and i just loved how at the end of the day she ended up becoming really close friends with people that she never thought she'd be close friends to and just being able to relate with them and connect with them and it was just a really, really cute book about friendship and romance and all those warm gushy things so yeah i was really happy that i finished this book and gave it four stars so i'm just gonna go through the books that i read the first book that i read was our last echoes which i gave three and a half stars and the last book that i read was The Secret Recipe of Moving On, which I gave four stars. So honestly, this was not a bad reading month or like a reading vlog. Uh, one three and a half star read and one four star read honestly is quite good for me. So yeah, that's all I have to say for this video. Let me know down below which book are you most excited for that's coming out in March. And if you have read any recent releases that you absolutely love, let me know down below as well. I would love to check it out and see some of your book recommendations. But as always, if you do like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. And if you'd like to see more content of me, please do subscribe, hit the notification bell. As always, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!